Detectors. It came from the bowels of the earth, without a warning. Powerful, unrelenting, uprooting trees, disabling highways, the unseen behemoth appeared unstoppable. All too often we spend our time monitoring the skies above, never suspecting the greatest threat may lie dormant under us. Where did it come from? We don't know. Why did it emerge now? An even bigger mystery. A mystery soon to unfold into an even greater danger. Jim? Lunch is ready. Okay, coming. I had worse. There any more? You feel that? It's a quake. What's that? It's coming. What? What is it? Shake and stop. It moved. Honey, it's just that. No, look! Hurry! Up there! You're telling us that a mammoth rock surfaced, looked around, and then disappeared back into the ground? That's what they said. It's a sinkhole. That's what the press is being told. It's not shaped like any sinkhole I've ever seen. Because it isn't one. See those dirt mounds? They're 15 feet across. Some stretch for half a mile. Something is burrowing out there. Something big. If it can suck down a farmhouse, just think of the problems it could cause if it ever hit a city. We'd be playing office tower dominoes. Let's find it. Something dug this? That's one big mole. Sanderson's found something. Definite signs of animal burrowing. It's just that this animal is literally as big as a house. I spoke with the farmers. Same story. A big rock did this. Rocks don't move, Casey. This one did. The mystery wasn't getting any clearer. So we went to the site that appeared to be the origin of the creature's emergence. Life science officer Shane Sanderson was heading the investigation. Hey, Shane, you got anything that'll help us? Well? You know what this is? A mess of goo. Right, but what kind of goo? You tell us. Well, I'm not positive, and I still have to run some tests. Just tell us, Shane. It's kind of like what you'd find in an egg after the animal inside is hatched. Now, I know it sounds weird, but that's what I think it is. You're telling us that something hatched inside a rock. Uh-huh, but not any rock. That rock. Get this. The age of this stuff. 50,000 years. You're sure? As sure as I can be. You're telling us that a prehistoric animal incubated in that rock? That's it. Pure and simple. And if we then believe what the farmer and his wife told us, the thing is also a burrower. You're with me. You too, Moose. We're gonna follow this thing's trail, if we can. You and Shane pack this stuff up and move this lab to the sinkhole. Use the ATV. Let's move it.
whatever it is, it's making itself easy to follow. We've got trouble. How bad? I plotted the course of the mound. If it continues in the same direction it's headed, this rock thing is gonna burrow right under a small town about 20 miles ahead. And send the entire town right into one gigantic sinkhole. We've got to stop it. Agreed. But how? We can't even see it. Maybe we can get ahead of the creature and force it to stop. I wonder why this thing hatched now, after so many thousands of years. I've been thinking about that, too. And? I don't think we'll ever know for sure, but... But you have a theory. Well, it's a wild one. Look, it just couldn't have that long of an incubation period. No way. Then something stopped it. Right. And what if that something was the weather? The last ice age? Our weather's been changing, getting hotter all the time. It could have had an effect. Which means there could be more eggs out here just waiting to hatch. And that is the scariest theory of all. Sarge, the burrowing has stopped at that mound up ahead. Maybe it's resting and we can get a look at it. Moose, put a blast right in front of that mound. On its way. Good job, Moose. Now, let's take a look. That thing's enormous. It's got to weigh 20 tons or more. Well, at least now we know what we're fighting. I'm going in for a closer look. We'll monitor your instruments from here, Moose, for later analysis. Hey, Sarge, I understand why they thought this giant insect was a rock. It has a head that looks like granite. Our scanners showed no internal injuries to the creature resulting from the blast. It's gonna take a lot more firepower to stop that baby. Well, at least we got it on the surface. I'll make another pass and see if I can change its course away from the town. Find anything? Well, I ran the slime on the ground next to the rock egg, and the closest I can match it to is insect secretions that the queens of some species use to attract a mate. Queen? Then it's female? I think so. You think she's out looking for a mate? Or a home. A home? Shane, you hit on something. What's wrong, Casey? I just got a strong sense of being followed. You see anything out there? Nothing. Me neither. But it is out there. I know it. What's out there? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe if the Queen is looking for a home, she's got a reason. Hatchlings! It's just a possibility. A good one. Let's go. Now! I can't budge that thing with simple flyby, Sarge. It just ignores me! Well, something's gotten its attention, Moose. Wait. It's turning towards town again. Moose, watch out! You don't have to spell it out for me, Sarge. I'll stop it. Let's go to the heavy stuff, Moose. Got my vote. Switching to ion exploding bullets. Bomber's a, a rock. And somebody just noticed me. I've uncased an air to ground. Stay clear. Don't take all day, Sarge. 